Hello, my name is Marteinn and this is 3D Printing Iceland. In this video I'm going to continue my MK3 build and in this step I will put together the power supply and the heated bed uh, assembly. So let's get started after the intro. So in step 7 uh, we're going to start with the heated bed and the note, uh, there's a new design uh, on, the, on the heat bed cable covers and this is the new design they say uh, from January uh, 2018 they shipped the redesigned uh, cover and I got that so that's good uh, but uh, the next is to prepare the, the materials, uh, the heated bed. Now uh, you can see all the, the magnets in the heated bed. Uh, the heated bed is now uh, 24 volt uh, and it's uh, just two wires uh, to the heated bed uh, and uh, L, L, uh, LED. Uh, as before, but uh, we have to uh, start with with it like this. So the, now we use the, <coughs> the nylon uh, part, and uh, they told me to uh, cut a diagonal, uh, cut into it like before, and uh, insert the filament into this uh, part, push, push it in and uh, I note that you should have the curve of the filament uh, facing upwards, so uh, it's difficult to see, uh, but now the filament is curved upwards and they say that is better for our uh, alignment. Uh, now uh, put in uh, three screws uh, the nuts and they tell you to do not use extreme force uh, it will be taken care of when you tighten the, the bolts good to have them at least stay in a little bit so now the nuts are in, in place that's good to uh, the cover uh, on top like this and uh, then put a 10 millimeter screw uh, through through the bed into the nut and they tell you to take care of the wires and make sure they're not getting in the way now we should uh, take the thermistor wire and, and put it on this side of the nut and they tell you to leave some slack and do not stretch it uh, too much and now they tell you to wrap uh, those cables, uh, wrap this cable around the nylon filament a few times like so and now take the wrapping there are two, uh, there are two uh, nylon wrappings uh, left and one is a little bit smaller than the other one. You're going to take the bigger spiral wrap because the smaller one is going to the uh, x-axis motor. So take the spiral wrap that is the bigger one and, and wrap that around. And you should put the wrappings so they will go inside the plastic you have to bend the nylon uh, a little bit to squeeze in the, the wrapping I'm just struggling with the wrapping I'm gonna move the, the white cable from the thermistor underneath uh, underneath the the bed cable, I think it's uh, better to have it on, on top here 
and then uh, wrap it around. Well, my cat is trying to eat the cable. <coughs> now I've got to place the, the wrapping uh, underneath the power cables and in, inside the plastic part. So now they will be secured. Uh, and now you place uh, the top cover and use uh, 10 millimeter screws. Now the, the nut fell out of place. So I found it on the table. Give me a little bit of trouble, so I'll force, force it in. And I use a longer screw to force the nut in. It's better to do, do it like that with a longer screw instead of uh, using uh, force with the pliers. Because you can always break the parts with, with the pliers. But with the longer screw, the force is uh, in the correct orientation to the part, so it is a better, better way. There's a small groove in the plastic part for the thermistor cable to make sure the cable is in the middle of the plus part so it is in the groove and now I can tighten this up so now this is secure so now I can uh, put the plastic wrapping so that part is, is ready so now uh, you have to prepare the heat pad and the wire carriage. So you need nine spacers and uh, nine cutter shock screws that are for 12 millimeters. So I'll tell you to put the heat pad uh, at the back, like so, and the uh, X carriage uh, to the front, and place one spacer in the middle. There's a, there's a hole in the middle, and then it asks you to so to put the bed uh, on top and use use the allen key to guide through the hole through the spacer uh, and align everything and then put one screw in then I got one and I tell you just to tighten it slightly the next step is to use the pliers to put in the spacers for the next two screws. This one is, is done. The magnets in the bed are give you some trouble by pushing you around. Here I have to watch out for the cable, for the heater sensors. Uh, it was uh, getting uh, between the screw. Well, this one was giving me a little bit of trouble because of the magnet. There's one more in the back. So now when all the screws are uh, in place, uh, I tell you to uh, align the, the no the tight, tighten the screws in a specific order. So first uh, the center one, and then the four middle screws, and then finally the cor corner screws. This is done. Uh, now you have to prepare the power supply. There are four mounting points on the power supply. Uh, yeah, you have to 
place those two screws in uh, first. And put the cable underneath uh, the smooth rod. And those are uh, 10 millimeter screws. And just put them in place to not tighten them at this point. Then you take the two remaining screws. Those are just put in place through the country. And now, uh, when I've secured the screws to the country, I can tighten up those two screws here at the bottom. So now, uh, step seven is done. Uh, so in next video I will continue with uh, step 8, the electronics. So for now I thank you for watching and see you in the next one.